안녕하세요, LS Kitchen 친구분들. Today I want to share my tasty restaurant version of soybean paste soup with some special secret ingredients. It is called 된장찌개 in Korean. One of the special ingredients we are going to use for this soup is rice water. When you wash the rice, get rid of the water that pour out first, but keep about 3 cups of milky rice water that remains. Another secret ingredient for this soup is seasoned soybean paste, samjang. This is basically soybean paste seasoned with some other ingredients and is almost always used for Korean barbecue wraps. Pour the rice water into a pot and add the soybean paste, the seasoned soybean paste, the hot pepper powder, and the dried kelp. Stir until everything is mixed well. Among the main ingredients, some of the firm vegetables take longer to cook and others take less time. So I prepare the firm ones first. Here we have the Korean radish, onion and potato. I'll cut them into bite-sized pieces. Once the broth starts to boil, add the chopped vegetables into the pot and cook them for about 10 minutes on medium-high. Meanwhile, chop the soft main ingredients such as tofu, fresh dake mushrooms, and the zucchini. Cut them into bite-sized pieces. You can use other kinds of mushrooms you like or you can even use chopped beef or clams instead. Discard the kelp from the broth. Next. Add the soft vegetables and tofu into the pot. Cook for another 5 minutes on medium-high. Here, season the soup with the minced garlic and the fish sauce or soup soy sauce. Cook for another 5 minutes on medium-high. Chop the green onion into about 1 inch pieces and slice the red hot pepper thinly. After 5 minutes, all the vegetables will be cooked enough. If you want to serve the soup boiling hot, you can put some of the soup in a small clay pot called tukbegi. Garnish the red hot pepper and green onion on top of the boiling soup and serve. This is a hearty and tasty soup perfect for cold winter days and will warm your body. Please try this delicious doenjang jjigae someday. And if you do, take some pictures and share them with me on Instagram or Facebook because I love to see your food pictures. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.